can't read Griffin's face either. He's either laughing at me or he's like, yep, you nailed it, bro. You nailed it. I can't tell. <laughs> what a poker face he has. He can't tell. You can't read him. <laughs> uh, all right, send it over to you, Lewis. Do the Mac, and then we'll wrap up with Vision Pro and then our predictions. Yeah, so Mac OS uh, Clear Lake is ah, – I'm sorry, Mac, Mac, Mac OS – Mendocino, you mean. <laughs> Mac OS Sequoia. Uh, it's going to – you know, they were pretty light on details about things that are coming in this too. But uh, the, the big thing they kick off with was iPhone mirroring, which is – quite strange iphone mirroring enables you to wirely, wirelessly mirror your iphone's display on your mac with just a tap you can control your iphone directly from your mac and use all installed iphone apps even better mac os sequoia can mirror your iphone's notifications so you can take action on them directly this is a i, I i'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this one actually uh i don't know that I necessarily needed to control my iPhone from my Mac. I was trying to envision what problem this solves because it's not like it's hard to just pull up your iPhone. And, and, and like the well, demo I'll give you an example right now, right now I'm okay. using my iPhone and continuity camera so that I have a high quality camera while we're doing this video call, but I can't use my phone because it's right, right, right. now it's my oh, camera. Okay. So if I have a notification so come in, I can, I can one. open the app from my Mac. That's great. Uh, there's one. Another one as pointed out in the thing is if, if you're, using your iphone in standby mode you don't have to it looks like wow i mean i a lot of people are like so so enamored with standby mode that they just couldn't bear to like bust out of standby mode uh I, i'm sure there are reasons why this is uh, amazing it looked cool but i i'm having a hard time imagining i felt exactly like you did i was like boy talk about left field man i did not see this feature coming and i i i don't know what their what I don't know what motivated them to expend the engineering resources to make this work because <laughs> it doesn't seem like it would benefit a lot of people. And I couldn't really think of a lot of examples where I'm like, oh man, I really wish I could access my phone from my computer. It's usually the other way around, actually. I want to access my computer from my phone because my phone is always with me. But there is one use case that I thought that they showed that looked interesting is there's a lot of people who create content on their phones and this would make it easy for them to create content on their Mac and then and then use their phone to like upload the content or or manage their social media or whatever. So for production actually could be really useful. But there's another I'll, example like if you're if you have a phone with a broken broken screen, you can, you know, your your screen geez. breaks, you can finally like copy Now that is interesting. It yeah, it's like it gives it gives life to your device that or um get, it didn't have before. So that's four. <laughs> I'm sure pl pl plenty of smart people will come up with ways to use this that I can't even envision. But, I don't know, uh, chat. Let us know. Are we missing it, something it, with, it with just uh, seems like iPhone a, mirroring? I thought that was a wacky seemed like one. It like an odd thing to like promote yeah. as like the key highlight of Mac OS Sequoia. And this yet, a, I thought it was very cool. Oh, yeah. That's no, like a great way for them to flex on how – like it, it's another advantage of Apple Silicon because like they develop technology on one platform and they can bring it as a different feature to other platforms. Like – uh, I think it was like one or two years ago they implemented like like they they spent a lot of engineering resources making sure that when you screen share Mac to Mac that it's it's much higher quality lower latency and that's they've been able to turn that uh, that feature set into you know uh, screen sharing from a, between a Mac and a Vision Pro and now screen sharing between an iPhone and a Mac. I thought of number five. How many times have you taken a picture on your phone? And you go on the Mac and you want to put that picture in there. You go to your phone's library. It's not there. And you say, update. It says, up, last updated one minute ago. You took this picture yesterday. Still not there. So there's a, there's a fifth thing right there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there'll be, uh, again. Uh, and, and you know what else? You asked why they put all this engineering resource. I'll bet you anything that this is just the first feature that they roll out related to whatever they did that came yeah. up with that feature. Yeah, there's probably a whole roadmap there. Okay, let's keep it moving. I think that... Uh... Oh, no, there's one more thing. Yeah. As Griffin points out, uh, they, uh, they've they got... They, they've, they've changed the way that window management can work on, on the Mac. You can drag a apps to the corner of the display, and Mac OS Sequoia will suggest a tiled position so you can, like, turn your, your Mac into a beautiful bento box of... of uh, of, of windows right which actually sounds pretty good you can also use keyboard shortcuts to arrange apps from the keyboard i i didn't actually see exactly how that worked either i mean there's a lot going on during that uh 
that big thing. So, uh, and you see, let's also there's there's some uh, new wallpapers which uh, have a bunch of images inspired by classic Mac OS operating system. So that's I I just said Mac OS operating system. My God, oh my God. We'll allow that's it. it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Good job, Lewis. I believe, hey, I, I'm gonna go uh, type in my pin number. We give you into all the, the uh, machine. Yes. We give you all the stories that required you to motor mouth. You did a good I job. Am, you I got through this pretty now. quick. 